Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. I have such a fun release for you for November 2024. So I'm going to get into it, show you all the products and also some cards that I made with each product. First up, we have the puppy party or potty, the puppy potty uh, bundle. We've got the stamps and also the dies to match. So I've made a few cards with the products. I colored these little cute dogs with alcohol markers and paired it with two stamps from the stamp set, the Let's and Celebrate. I just put them together. So super cute. I've got friends with all of these dogs, so it just makes me happy to see them. I've got another one with the Corgi with the little food bowl and the bone. So cute. Really simple, easy ink blending on that one. And then I have a third card with this cute little uh, lab. So cute. This balloon is actually from another product in the release. It's from the, uh, I think it's Banner and Balloons stamp and stencils and dies. Love it. And I love putting in that little, it's potty time. It's party time. So cute. I also have a couple more dogs that I colored that didn't make it onto cards quite yet, so I'm gonna keep them in my stash for later. But I wanted to show you those, they color up so cute. We all know I love a good cat stamp set, so here we are. This is the Live in the Meow Stamps and Dies. There is a coordinating die for nearly all of the sentiments. Um, these smaller ones right here didn't quite fit in the set, so you will have to cut those out separately. But the kind of scripted words are included in the dies. So we've got six different kitties, including some hats, some birthday hats to put on top. So here's one of the first cards I made with the cats. So cute. Just a little tip for when you're adhering the hats and you've used the dies to cut them out. I just use scissors just to cut the very bottom white edge off the hat so that it sits right on top of the cat. So that's just a little tip for when you're adhering the birthday party hats to the top of your kitties. I have a little itty bitty three by three card. I think this would be so cute for Valentine's Day coming up in a few months or just a little note to leave for a loved one. If you have cats, they sit like this all the time and it cracks me up. They have no arms or legs. <laughs> I loaf you. They call it loafing. That's what that where that greeting comes from. And then this third card has a cute kitty playing with a ball of yarn, press pause, and live in the meow. So that is the live in the meow stamps and dies. The loved and missed stamps and dies are those products that we wish we didn't need, but you're happy to have on hand when you do. So this is specifically geared toward sympathy cards for those who have lost a furry friend so, um, I mean, I know that feeling. I lost both my cats just a few months ago. So coming from me, these are the words that really meant a lot when that happened. So I've made a few cards using the stamps and dies. This is one with almost all just stamps. So I stamped the greeting in multiple colors. I used this separate little paw stamp with different colors to create the pattern. And then I stamped the and missed everyday sentiment on some midnight cardstock and then used this little die right here, the rectangle, narrow rectangle die to cut that out. I've also got the little heart up there at the top. Super cute, very simple card. Um, this is a good one to have on hand um, that doesn't specify what type of animal. So this would be a great card design or products to use just to have on hand in case you need one of these cards really quickly. Here's one with a cute kitty. You could color one of the cats from the Live in the Meow stamp set to look like your loved one's uh, pet. You could have it match. And then we've got some dies over here. So in the stamp set, there's a loved that this, this outer like shadow die will cut out. Or like I've done here, you could actually cut the loved word from cardstock and pair it up. So both of these larger gratings are cardstock, but you also could stamp them if you'd prefer to not deal with the die cut words. And then this third card 
has a little heart cut out. There is the heart in the stamp set, but I decided to just cut out straight out of cardstock and I've cover covered it with some glossy accents. Um, but once again, you could either stamp or die cut the words and then the outer shadow layer was die cut as well. These five products in the November release are two separate bundles. They're being sold as two separate bundles like this, but I wanted to show them together because they work together so well. So the first one I wanted to show you is the Happy Birthday Words Stamps. This is a very similar feel to my Merry Trees that came out a few months ago. It was a standout favorite with a lot of crafty fans. So I wanted to create a stamp set that has a very similar look and feel to the Merry Trees products. So we've got the very thin outer lined kind of font for the large words and then you have the dies that cut them out. So you could use them together or separately. And then we have a long narrow strip to cut out the sub sentiments or the continuations of the greeting. So you could have it say, time to celebrate your birthday, happy birthday wishes. You can pair them up to create a bunch of different greetings. So I'm gonna show you card examples with that here in just a moment, but you could pair it with imagery from the banner and balloons, stamps, stencils, and dies. So I've got some dies that match all of the images in the stamp set, but I've also got a couple that will just cut them out on their own. If you'd like to create a banner out of cut cardstock, you could do that, or you could stamp the banner and cut it out with the individual banner shape or you have the full banner that cuts out this entire banner stamp. You've also got the balloons and also the strings. Now, when I was designing these particular strings, the smaller ones right here are meant to go on the end of the banner. I'll show you an example of that here in a minute. And then these longer ones that have the trailing strings are to go on the bottom of the balloons. And you'll see that on the cards as well. All right, for the stencils, this has a lot of imagery in it, and I wanted to include four stencils so that you really can get bang for your buck. This first stencil matches up with the imagery in the stamp set. You've got all three balloons, and then I included three of the banners in case you chose like three colors and you want to just you know move it around and just go between those three. You won't have to necessarily clean your stencil to do so. The next stencil has patterns. So it's labeled balloon patterns, but really you could use the patterns on the banner as well. I'll show you an example of both of these with the patterns on the balloons or the patterns on the banner. The third stencil is a great way to color in this large banner shape with just one stencil. And you can start with the first row of the banner and then go to the second and to the third. So it's a really easy way to get a tri-colored banner and just move the stencil down to get all of those on there. And then the fourth stencil, I decided to just do a nice polka dot pattern. I think polka dots are great for birthday cards or any celebratory cards that you might have balloons or banners on. So I thought it just paired really well with the other stencils in the stencil set. So let's look at some cards made using all of these products. First up, I have a fun balloon card where I stenciled the balloon shapes without the stamped images. And then I stenciled um, some patterns on top as well. I paired it with the die cut birthday. I first stamped the birthday greeting and then die cut it using those dies. And I also stamped the time to celebrate your greeting and then used that narrow strip die to cut that out. Here's a great example of the balloons stamped and then blended using the stencils. I've got a striped pattern and a dot pattern. And then I use the, the word stamps and dies to create those words plus the greeting. For this third card example, I use the polka dot stencil for the background. And I also created this banner and ink blended each one of the different uh, pendants or banner segments in a different color of ink. And then I've got those cut out letters from the stamps and dies. Here's an example of a banner using that stencil with the three rows of colors that you can move. So I just moved them down and did different colors of kind of a greenish aqua. Here's a banner that I stamped the banner outline first. And then I went back and just stamped 
this stamp right here to add color onto each one of these segments. That's another great way to get color on your banner really quick. For this last one, I did the, the three separate colors using that row of stencils. And then I went back and added some patterns from the pattern stencil. The balloons are super easy to stamp, ink blend on using the stencils, and then cut out the strings as well. These worked up super, super quick. So that is my November 2024 release of stamps, dies, and stencils. Everything is available over at concordandnight.com today. And you can pick up any of these products individually or in bundles to save just a little bit on your purchase. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you all in another video very soon.